Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are all well. In today's video, I am in Birmingham. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna review a place you can just about see behind me. I'm trying to not get everyone in that video, uh, called Shahi Naan Kebab. A ton of you in the comments are telling me it's awesome. A ton of you on Instagram are telling me they do the best tikka kebabs I could find anywhere in Birmingham. However, full disclosure guys, I was just in an Uber. I was in there for about 20 minutes and the guy told me it was one out of 10. He's put some negative thoughts in my head. He's told me it's a one out of 10, but I'm gonna wipe all of that. I'm just gonna do a taste review and just be unbiased and, and see how it is. I wanna give you guys an honest review. So I'm gonna go inside and I'm a little bit nervous. All right guys, so we're inside. I found a nice little corner table. It's quite busy in here and I don't wanna capture other people in it. So let's have a look at the menu together. I actually bumped into another blogger here, which is pretty cool. I think he's doing a similar thing, like a food review, which is quite cool. I never get to see other bloggers. That's cool. But uh, let's just have a look at this menu together. So it seems to be a pretty comprehensive menu. There's a lot of starters here, but I've been told to get the shish kebab. That's what I've been told to get, the number one thing. But I'm going to try and speak to the staff again and just sort of pick their, pick their brains. Kebab roll. That sounds good. In a nod, that's like 370. That's good, that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna look through this. Oh, this sounds good. So two kebabs served in a burrata. Do you know what? That's what I'm getting. That, that That's what I'm gonna get for sure. But uh, I'll try and get a couple of bits and bobs. Get the menu. Honestly, I've not been here before. First time I've seen the menu. So I'm definitely, I think I'm gonna get the roly poly because I like the name and I like burrata and I like kebabs. So we're gonna do that. And I might pick a couple of other things as well. I don't wanna miss any like classics or things that they're known for. If the camera is slightly off center, it's actually because the table is so clean, it's been wiped that my tripod is slipping. So that's a good thing. So that, <laughs> that is a good thing. Good amount of space in here, good seating as well. It's actually quite a nice sort of experience in here. The front seems super busy, but back here, it's really nice. You have um, table service as well, which I wasn't expecting. I thought I'd have to go up and order. I think a lot of people order, then take the food out. But they do do table service as well. Right guys, so food is here. Got a couple items. So I've made sure to get the seat kebab. What you can do is you can get a small or a large. Small having two seat kebabs and large having three. But let me just show it to you. So I made a little mistake actually. The kebabs, this one's the naan. Two seat kebabs and a naan. We've got two seat kebabs and a parata. I'm looking forward to that. I made a little mistake. I forgot to say, please have the salad separate. I've done that myself, so you'll see little bits and bobs, but uh, that's my bad. And then what we're going to do is actually, you've got to have a bit of chutney, man. You've got to have that. So we're going to have that as well. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. I am so excited for this. I think I'm going to go for the naan one first. That's kind of their specialty. I think what we're going to do, ooh, the naan is hot. I think it's freshly made. You can tell it's sort of freshly made. Um, I'm gonna just break off a little bit of this seat kebab. And then we're gonna get a bit of chutney. I should put some chili sauce in there, but I'll do that. Now. That is probably the best seat kebab I think I've had. That's actually delicious. What we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna put a little bit of chili on, because I think that'll take it to the next level. I'm looking forward to trying the roly poly because I love burrata. This is such a simple but delicious meal. A little bit of chili, a little bit of the chutney. Guys, this is getting a hey man. If you're in Birmingham, you've got to try it. They give you a ton of salad. I removed it, of course. I'm going to get a little bit of onion just for a bit of acidity. I'm gonna get a little bit more of that sea kebab with some chili and some chutney there. Why not? Oh, honestly, that is so good. The night itself is very fluffy. It's got a great doughy consistency. There's no like super thin crispy bits to it. It's very kind of bready, if you will, which goes really well with the actual sea kebab. These are just like juicy. They've got a great fat to meat ratio. It gives them a really good amount of flavor and tenderness. Really juicy. I think I would get the large, I think three is better. Two, I think, is a pretty small portion, if I'm being honest with you, especially for that much naan. I think what we have to do now is go for the brata, the roly poly. So it's still the two seat kebabs, but, and a load of salad, but it's actually in a brata, not a naan. What I've done is not put chili sauce on here, on a brata. Chili sauce on brata just feels wrong. Mm. D, Lear. Yes. The sea kebabs are what you want. Come in here, you just 
you cannot miss these. From what I understand, the rest of the menu isn't as solid, so I've not ordered anything else. But uh, if I was coming here, I think I would go for the plain naan with the large seek kebab. Make sure you get a good amount of salad, good amount of chili sauce is quite nice, and a good amount of the mint chutney. I think that combination, I think it's fantastic. Pricing wise, I haven't got my bill yet to sit down, but uh, if we're looking at the kebab roll, uh, it's two kebab rolls. The large, if you look there, I think you can see there's 420, which I think is, is very reasonable for such a delicious, tasty, hey man, sea kebab. Also, I was gonna get a drink, but I think mango lassi, three pound a cup or seven pound a jug. I don't know, we don't wanna pay for that, I mean, being honest with you. Um, and they're known for this, so I thought I would stick to this. All right then, go on then, review's almost over, so I may as well go all in. All right then. This is just super tasty, guys. Make sure you, in conclusion, try that. <laughs> right guys, so that was Shahi Naan. A lot of you told me to go there. Thank you for the suggestion. Like I said, that was my second time there. The first time I went in and uh, I, didn't, I didn't do a review. But uh, second time, loved it. Great food, I really enjoyed it. That's definitely the best sea kebab I've had. And I don't like sea kebab, so for me to like it, let alone love it, it's kind of rare. So if I'm being completely unbiased, considering the first time I didn't have a great experience, Honesty is honesty, man. That was amazing. That was really good. If you're nearby, I would highly suggest you go there. Pricing, reasonable, good seating, and just lovely, lovely food. I haven't tried anything else, I'll be honest. And I've been made aware that other food isn't on the same level, let's say, as the sea kebab. That's what I've been made aware of. People in Birmingham, let me know in the comments, is that true? That's what I've been told. Uh, that if you're gonna go for like a curry or something, go somewhere else. But if you're gonna go for a sea kebab, that is gonna be hard to beat. If there is anywhere in Birmingham that beats there, do let me know because I'm new to the area and I don't know it that well if I'm being frank. But uh, that does take me guys to the end of my video. Let me know in the comments where I should go next. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, do all that fun stuff. But I'll see you all in that next video. Bye 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 b